I was promised the good stuff. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? No. Antonio Zapatero, otherwise okay. known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. Oh. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. How? When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. Like you just did. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? Okay. The name of the boss he was going to give up <laughs> apparently starts with the letter D. Do I, uh... This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Yeah. Gah. Gah. Let me ask you again. You're a horror show. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Do you, do you really Does that sound to possible to you? No. Doesn't. I think he had help. No. It's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. <laughs> right on the money, David. You're telling me. The third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of spirit it away. That's a that's a Miyazaki movie. Oh my God! Studio Ghibli is behind the whole thing. Whoa! From the evidence Mackle. I was able to bring, this particular <laughs> item is the most Don't touch. interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Okay. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Well, no doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the Let last it. one you'll ever need. Let me have it. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Uh -huh. Bloody Marshall's bad. A piece of evidence relating to the case of the vanishing courier. It belonged to Federal Marshal Derek Buchanan, who was, quote-unquote, killed while transporting the courier in question. Using this should allow me to dive into an airplane aboard which D, the key to my wife's murder case. Aboard which is D. Alright. Hey. Go to the main bathroom. Huh. Are you eating okay? Uh. <laughs> Could use some food. What's up, David? Feeling hungry? Yeah. I'm hungry. Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Your badge says detective for a reason, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go get Amanda. The more the merrier. Uh, the are you day. sure we want her at the table? Are you, are you sure about this? Are you really? 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 No? Yes, mate. Hmm? Oh, good. She's cheating with her feet. Tell me, Teddy, what's up with you and Diana? Yeah. Mm, nothing much. It's just how we roll. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. What? That's the root of it. But both of you That's are the root of Vega. I thought you'd be double teaming me. Oh. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. Diana doesn't see it that way? Nah. That's that's a lot of crackers got, her got there in her suit. Right up in New York. So what was it this time? Baseball? Basketball? 
Not football. Mm, nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, um, this one's bigger. Much oh. bigger. It's all about clam chowder. Clam chowder. Say yeah, it again. Clam chowder. And now no matter you... how you slice it, Boston has that's, the best clam chowder in the world. That's four pieces of pizza. You're with me on this, right? Right? Huh? Oh, but Diana just can't see it. That's five slices of... I have no basis for comparison. Watch what? Out. I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best in the world by default. Come on. I mean, personally, I can't have... That is a lot oh, of crackers. Come on, David. Mm, sorry. Uh, I can't help you out. I can't say anything absolute that isn't based on personal experience. I need you on this. All I needed you to say was damn straight. Oh, for uh, for sake. Holy moly. Oh, this. Oof. F cases report. Discovery of Bean. April 2002, a Boston University student suddenly collapsed during a track and field practice on campus and was taken to the hospital. Even with proper emergency medical response, the student died within an hour. Uh, how do I? Thank you. The cause of death was acute heart failure. As he was a regular user of anabolic steroids, his death was considered to be caused by a drug abuse or a side effect thereof. Although it seemed barely cut dry, the deceased's possessions were seized as part of the investigation. A large volume of steroids were found entirely backing the original conclusion. However, among them was a new type of unreleased, unrecognized pharmaceutical. While the general steroids used for a doping for doping are enhancers with an anabolic reaction that increases the protein in cells, this new drug not only acted instantly but also apparently allowed the strength of a user's muscles to be greatly increased with the seemingly no psychological effects. Changes. Due to the massive increase in competitive performances, it's allowed... Wait. Uh... The name B, red powder dry... Oh, this must be the new... The Rio blood. Alright. TLD did not read. TL did not read. Okay, good. Close. All right, I got full stamina recovery from this. All right, got everything that's on the. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Ah, uh, storage shelf from the twenties. What's in here? Oh, well, there's a credit. There's some potato chips. Is it? Well, then. Supposed to go to the bathroom. More potato chips. Oh, what do we got here? We got ourselves a credit. Ooh, an academic journal. Ooh. Oh, this looks like something long to read. Food list. Okay. All right. All right. Grab the television. That is a very big remote.
Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh. Oh, is Amanda laughing? Oh no. Hey, Amanda. Am Do you want to watch too? We're just at the best bit. Uh, little. That's it. That's the. So Amanda's the. Where she's not on the chair anymore. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah, of course. That's exactly what I thought. All right. It's one of those clacker clackers. <laughs> Well, there she is again. Uh, oh, it's a built-in. Got some hockey. Very long article on hockey. And down there, you got the Seven Wonders of the Milky Lake in Maine. Actually, I didn't let that turn green. Can't let that. There we go. How to what a mouthpiece? How to select a mouthpiece. Oh, wow. All right. Mickey Norman's Twilight Report. Spontaneous combustion? Well, my goodness. Alright. Oh, looks like there's some stuff on the table. Oh, wait a second here. Oh. Corkboard. Suspects, phone records, newspaper clippings. Alright. we got here. All right. Oh, look at that. All right. So it's that whole clear shatter. Oh, oh wow. That's the whole clear shatter thing. Okay. What's this over here? Oh, it's the same thing. Alright. <laughs> that was a case. Alright. Wow. Oh, I would love to play some records, but... Well... We don't want to get flagged either, so... Squirrel! Thanks for watering the plants, Daddy. Oh, okay. You know, I like to, a lot of drinking and eating in this game so far. A lot of. Oh, he finds this pleasurable. Oh, delightful. You know, uh, not for nothing, but, uh, I think he needs more. What do you think? Kind of not up to you, but. Hmm? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, you're not saying. Oh. You know, screw it. I can, I can take another sip. So I'm gonna do it. Bottoms up. Hmm. I like how it's steaming and there's like nothing left in the cup. Oh, fortune cookies. Huh. A Nobel Prize for the first man who put cheese in a hamburger. Well, he is utterly delighted by that. Uh, okay, don't eat it. Just, just gonna.
Alright, what do we got? Your common sense may not be the world's common sense. Values are never the same. Oh. Okay, no wonder you have vermin sitting on your windowsill. You just put crumbs all over the place. If you can't sleep, stop Whoa. wasting time in bed. Get up. <laughs> he is deeply, deeply disturbed by this. Can I... <gasps> no. I pushed a squirrel. I'm sorry. This is like... <laughs> this is... Oh my... It's, it's like... What's his face? Uh... That other game that we played, that Jake and I played, Until Dawn, which I don't think is a sequel to, oh, Cabinet, I don't think it's a sequel to that Julie Delphi, Ethan Hawke movie, that's a can of crab just sitting there in his canned seafood, yeah, why not, what's this? Jelly beans, stamina restored, yeah. Holy moly. Anything else in there? Holy. Oh, crap. What am I grabbing? Is that a, is that a hamburger? Is it? You're just eating everything. You're an eating fool. Probably should have been over there looking at everything. I think I've got everything in here. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> there we go. Throw away leftovers. Second memo. Put it back where you found it. Third memo. Keep the door closed. So why not open it? I don't know where this guy's going to be reaching for. Oh, can seafood again. Ale. Thick taste. Alright. Well, I think I've eaten and drank everything in the house, so, uh, let's go this way. Oh. Oh, making a phone call saves progress. Neat. That's pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> Delightful. Down there, I think. No. All right, so a lot of awful lot of bottles. All right. Mm, the bedroom. All right, so bed, king size bed. Slept here together. White fur cat. Uh, oh, hey, it's a credit. Oh, there's another one. Alright. Ah. Grab another one of these here books. Movie and comic magazine. Cult film column. Which one is the Palm Door? That's the, uh... That's a award from Cannes. Ah... And history of the Cannes Film Festival. It's educational, kids. Here, pause it so you can read it. I'm not gonna. Neat. Crab. He was a hockey player too. Is there no end to this guy? And his his merits? Just won a hockey game. That's a lot of oh leaderboards. Oh, that's kind of cool, huh? All right. Oh, energy drink. I bet it gives him wings. Anything else to grab there? All right. Oh, but he really likes his hockey. Alright. 
Peggy's letters. Let's read Peggy's letters. David, the thoughts of you reading this makes me very happy. I hope you've calmed down a little. I love you as you are, and I'll love the David you become. This is the second time I've ever written that. Do you remember the first time? Today I found all my old letters. It's strange they've become your case materials. All the letters I ever sent, a perfect collection going back to high school days. They're obviously more, obviously important to you, stored so neatly. Maybe you respect them too much to tear them open. Is that it? So this is a challenge from the Peggy I am now to the David you'll become. I've hidden my letters old and new. I want you to find all of me and all of our memories and know the Peggy I was, the Peggy I am now, and the Peggy I'll become. Little... Peggy Young, September 14th, 2009. January 22nd, 2009. Don't you think Amanda is the perfect name for our cat? Tell you what, she's not. All right? Amanda's not a perfect name for that person out there. Every time I look at her, I remember your face the first time you saw her. Amanda helped, but the proposal was from you. I'm so happy every time I see her, I remember, and I am happy all over again. Amanda is sleeping in my lap as I write. She's nothing less than an angel, pure white snowborn, pure white newborn. She came to be part of our happiness, to make you make our family real. I love you, David. P.S. I'm sure your, I'm sure my foster father, will give his blessing too. Let's do this, little Peggy Oldman, soon to be little Peggy Young. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Huh. Okay. Alright. So, grab. And you can change your clothes. Seventy shirt, detective shirt. Amateur magician shirt. I I don't know what to say. Off style shirt. On sale shirt. Relaxed hoodie. Oh. Let's go back to the on sale shirt. Alright. Beard. No beard. Sloppy beard. Thin beard. Oh dear lord. Give him clean shaven here. He, right now he's in the transition from detective to playing in his own like emo band, I guess. Detective pants, amateur pants, relaxed pants. This is pants when he's relaxed, okay? Off style pants. Maybe jeans. I'm not sure. On sale pants, relaxed pants. Oh, them some cargos. Uh. Might need more pockets to, like, put all that food in, so. Alright, we're gonna leave him with that. And I like the shoes. I like the shoes. Monochrome leotard. Okay. Uh, mosaic moss. I... I don't... Whatever. <laughs> Forest casing. Glasses. The old, old Clark glasses? Hold on. Here. Glasses. Middle aged glasses. Contact lenses. There you go. I'll make you feel, I'll make you feel more confident when you're having chowder discussions. Ops. Middle aged jacket. Old Clark jacket. Huh. I think we'll go with well we'll keep that middle aged stuff. Only neckties. He's he's casual. He's this guy. He's what he's gonna do? 
No necktie. Shoes. I think we're good. I think we're good here. All right. Close the closet. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Grab. Shower room door. Rusty doorknob. Signs of being used. Small sounds of opening and closing. I always woke her up. Never fails. I always sweep the other way. Hmm. Sink. Totally drenched. Did Amanda use it? I'm guessing it was me. Splash. Anything good over here? Oh, first aid kit? <laughs> oh, wow, there's a medal? Oh. I was lucky to survive. Ironically, though, I've got a best piece of evidence still lodged in my head. <laughs> was he going to say that every time I see him here? Oh no. Oh no. Hey. Wanna oh, no, move it over? There's a. It's warm even in the winter. Cleaned by the detective. Wow. He he likes when a desire goes unfulfilled. Shutting down. Stagnating like a blocked pond. Those are the mementos I seek. Those are the kind of memories that will invite me back into the past. Huh. Like that sh rusty sheriff's bad. Bloody. Sorry. Rusty is something else. Okay. Uh. Well. I'd like to know how to get that. Because I can't. That thing is mouse right over it. Maybe if I reach back here. It's probably a trick to doing it. I'll look it up. Alright, well. Enough for the grand tour. It's, uh... Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. <sighs> Teddy. Thanks for all the help. Ha, ah, no problem, David. We're partners. We may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. Well, thanks, guy. Hal, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! Oh. No, no, no. Dada? What? Don't give me that look, Amanda. Just trying to give him a reason to live. I bring up the past and something he couldn't change. Slap. Slap. Oh. Interesting. And confidential. May 14, 2013. Oh. Time has been frozen for me since that day. All right. <laughs> Will I see you Whoa. this time? <laughs> right trigger. Left trigger. Whoa! What the? What the? Is he gonna... Is G-Force? 
Okay, folks, thanks a lot for stopping by and watching an episode of D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die. I've been Charlie Danger82, and please remember to swing by TeamDeBa.com to check out everything that is Team Deba, like our podcast that comes out every Thursday. You can find on Stitcher, SoundCloud, Player FM, and iTunes. You can also listen to it right there on the site. As you're checking out, see that segue there? The pull list that Jake and I do every Wednesday where we tell you what comics you should be reading for the for the week. Or the monthly Loot Crate review from Jamie or any of the other awesome articles we have there. And remember, right here on YouTube.com slash Team Deba, you get a new video seven days a week. So thanks a lot for watching, folks. We'll see you next week. And until then, please remember, don't be a hero. Good night.